we're staying near Bend, Oregon. And today we are going to the Shoes National Forest. In a dark cave. In a dark cave. What are we going to see in the cave? Bats. Are they going to be little or are they going to be big? They're going to be little. What kind of cave is it? A bad cave. <laughs> Do you know what else it is? What is mom? It's a lava tube because um, lava used to run through it and then there's a whole bunch of lava and then a roof came over it and then the lava went out. And now there's a big old cave where the lava used to be. We're going to go see one of those. Are you excited? Yeah. Knuckle. Knuckle knuckle. The cave is a mile long. It descends 55 steps. Right now we're dressed for summer, but inside the cave it's 40 degrees, so I guess we're going to have to bundle up. It's about an eight mile drive from the campground. We're going to the lava tubes with our friends, the Cancer family, we're following their black truck. down there is restrooms. They are over there. Gonna be down there an hour. Are you gonna be scared? No. no. Are they gonna be scared? Yeah. yeah. Okay, keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't do any running, right? <laughs> yeah. No running. Don't worry. Are you gonna see bats in here? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Hope so. Hope so. Hope so. If you do see a bat, it is just one you don't want to see. Probably the one dead bat that we have down there is still down there because it likely has rabies to it. Do not touch. Okay. See that down there. This is not like Hosebun by any means. We maybe have 12 bats that we're saying here. The reason, reason, two reasons, well, main reason is that there are some 500 other lava tubes in, in the region. And with this area being so dry, there are hardly any insects here. So those bats are going to be around caves where there are insects. Okay? All right. All right, check in over there. Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Emmy? Yes. Yeah. Do you have lights already, or do you need lights? Um, yeah, I think we're good. Lights. Okay. Lights. All right. Well, if you don't need your any lights, then you'll be all set. All right, girls, do you want this? Huh? Do you Herb? want verbal? Sure. Thanks. Mom, look at this is where the roof collapsed. Hand? Yes, I will. Okay. Okay. Wait to go down. Wait. We're bundled up, ready to go. So we are in the cave, and it's so dark, and we have lights, and we see. We can see. Straight to the point. The cave is very dark when you turn off all your lights, so we had to bring our own flashlights, and. We're prepared, and it's pretty cool. Let's go check it out some more. See it? Not all wet? That's crazy, but it just looks like it was dripping down. St. Helen. The ceiling's about 31 feet above you, and the roof thickness is about 50 feet. Wow. Flow line. Alright, this is cool. It's tough to see on camera, but it is like a big tube. And it's dripping on our heads. You guys have to turn your lights off, though. Oh, yeah. You can't have your lights shining at us. Yeah, but Dad, we're going to need your light shining on us. Uh, not necessarily. Then we only see you. We can't see the cave behind you. 
Yours isn't making any noise. Yours isn't making any noise. Stop! Huh, the floor is sand. Before we but it was packed more before. It's just not as hard packed as slip as Yeah. It's like sand, but there's still like big. Is it sand because this is the material that was here? Or is it sand because of basically the pulverization of the volcanic rock? That could be. I don't know, but it's uneven. Will you shine your light down on the ground so we can see? So the ground is sand, but. So you keep digging in, huh? But here, I mean. Yeah, that looks like all the sand. The sand in the ground may have been what? What prevented it from like going any, you know, melting further into the ground? But it's yeah. not level. There's a bunch of like Lava little right on it, right? ledges. So which way is so it? So we have to watch our step. So if it flew this, it was flowing this direction, it would make sense that you would have these ledges. If, if it was flowing down or up? Correct, if it's flowing in the direction that we're walking. Which would make sense because it feels like we've dropped quite a bit. Yeah, it feels like we're going down. Some of these ledges to step down are about a foot down. All right, I better catch up because I'm getting behind and I don't have a good light. I've got Emmett on my back and I won't be able to see where I'm going. Okay, look at this. All right, it's getting bedrock. Well, no, that's not bedrock. I mean, that's where it's different. Hey, Anthony, come here. Because remember, the lava on the outside of this is going to cool before the in part. All right, now we have to watch our step and our head. It's getting lower. We've reached the end of the cave. The ceiling is very low here. Very. Hey, James, will you come and stand right over in front of my camera? There you can see how low the ceiling is. And it gets lower and lower as you go. So this is the end for us. Now we are just about to the end and this is the probably the most exciting cave trip I've ever been in. Okay, I can totally feel the temperature dip. It's way warm. But still it felt really good down there. Since it's a very hot day. Let's go. How did you rub the cave all over your face? Yeah, sure, <laughs> you yeah. know he I just tripped. manages to do that. I tripped. Ready? Yeah. He likes cave on face. So it gets very wet in there. Like the ground is super moist. And there is a lot of bumps. And I tripped and face planted. Is that what all that stuff is on your face? Yes. Oh, you were, you look like you were eating the cave. Did you need a snack? So you ate cave? We just finished the cave hike and we drove over to the visitor center to pick up some junior ranger books. Gate to come in closes at 345, which it is right now. But the visitor center stays open until four. So they headed over to the parking lot and I'm just running in to grab some books. And then we'll fill them out at home and we'll come back and check out some more stuff and so we'll drop them off later. Alright, we got the books. We will head back to the car and work on them at home. <laughs>